Can you talk about what your style says about you? I get a lot of harassment um, for the way I look. Sometimes I dress um, to be sort of invisible, and other days I dress to be visible. On my like invisible days, I'll be dressed in like mostly all black. On the other days, I'll be in like a hot pink vinyl mini skirt and a crop top, and like maybe like bright purple lipstick or bright blue lipstick. To me, that is saying, you know, this is who I am and I'm not ashamed of being who I am and, you know, here I am and I'm not going to back down um, regardless of what anyone says. What are the assumptions do you think that they're making about you? you know, people see me as a boy that they want to put in his place and that boys aren't supposed to wear makeup and wear crop tops and wear mini skirts. As we grow up, we are like groomed to like more fit our certain box. Female turns into girl, turns into woman. Um, but it all starts with your body being labeled as female. That's not where we should start. We should start with a blank slate and we should grow up to be people and human beings. I was assigned female at birth. Growing up, I remember I would go to sleep at night and I would wish for two things. One was for braces because I had a weird obsession with orthodonture and I got my wish. <laughs> And two was to wake up in a different body. I wanted a boy's body. I thought that if I had different body parts, maybe I would feel more connected to my body. As a child, I was like a tomboy. And then as I got to middle school, the only viable social currency was like, you know, to dress as a girly girl and to have the approval of the boys in the class. If the boys didn't think you were hot, then, you know, what did you have going for you? Nothing, you were like an outcast. And so I started trying to like teach myself how to be a girl. Um, I read a lot of cosmopolitan magazines i would think oh this is going to be useful for when i'm married um with like all the like sex tips and stuff i was like 12. jessica simpson was like my idol at the time and newlyweds was my favorite show and i watched it over and over i like had every episode on dvd and i you know saw her as this perfect woman who like i should aspire to be and so i tried really really hard i like bought mini skirts and i bought bras that i didn't want to wear. At that point, I started wishing for bigger breasts or a bigger butt. And I was like, okay, well maybe if I develop these like womanly traits, then I will feel more like a woman. By the time I got to high school, I was super depressed. Um, and I was like exclusively wearing hoodies and sweatpants. When I got to college, um, I lived on a hall with 60 other girls. And that was frightening. <laughs> Um, and I sort of felt like a, like a fraud. I didn't know any like out queer people. I just grew up researching online. Um, I would go to like message boards when I was 17. That's the only way that I've learned anything about my gender or my sexuality um, or feminism or like race issues has been like on the internet. I eventually came across, you know, videos of transgender people and I was like, oh, this it could be a thing that I am. Yeah. Um, and so I spent the next like year watching videos and researching hormones and changing the way that I dressed, changing my name and experimenting with pronouns. Um, and I eventually came out as a trans guy. Then I started hormones. Everything like started, it seemed like it was falling into place and my body started changing. Um, my voice dropped. My shoulders got like pretty broad. I grew facial hair. My like whole like chest was covered.